Five mistakes that beginners don't aspire to make. Let's check this out. Hey guys, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Andre, I'm a drone pilot and my channel is all about aviation, drones and product reviews. Sometimes you're gonna see me flying around my drone, sometimes you're gonna see flying a Piper Cherokee, so stay tuned for the next video. Today we're gonna talk about a 5 mistakes beginner's pilot's drone make. I did that mistake by myself, I'm sure if you start to fly your drone now you're gonna make those mistakes as well, so let's check this out together and see if we can avoid those mistakes. Mistake number 1, do not check the battery levels from your drone before you fly. You have to check the battery levels to see if it's charging full, if not, Put your drone to charge at least 2 hours before your flight or the day before your flight. I have a DJI Mini SE and that drone takes up 2 hours to charge. Also, the spare battery as well. So make sure everything is charging full, the remote control is charging full, all your gear cameras is charging full before you go out and fly. That drone can fly between 25 and 30 minutes. Let's say you go out to fly and you're taking off with your drone and uh, you go to some altitude and the, then you identify you have a, a wind and that wind is, is start to push your drone away from you when you start to return your drone back to you the drone is going to take more time than uh, flying away from you so if you don't have enough battery in your drone probably your drone is not gonna make it back if you are in the middle of the lake for example you can lost your drone also learn how to fly your drone before fly away. Mistake number two, do not update firmwares and GPS database. In the past, some drones had to calibrate each flight. That DJI mean I calibrate just one time and never more. Sometimes the app notifies me I have to calibrate the drone. And also update the firmware and the GPS database. DJI apps are gonna notify you when you have to do that. For update your firmware and GPS database, do it at your home because you need to have a good internet connection for download the firmware and also the app is going to start to load that firmware for the drone and then the drone is going to start to drain the battery. So it's a good idea to do at the home because after finish you can charge your drone again and then go out to enjoy your flight. If you try to do that outside your home, probably you're not gonna make that flight in that day because it's take time sometimes up hour for update everything and then is ready to fly again take number three do not update your home point while you are in movement if you're planning to walk with your drone or make your drone follow your car following you on the lake make sure to look at those settings and update the home point times to time. Imagine you are in the middle of the lake, you take off uh, 20 minutes ago and the drone identifies he needs to get back to home. It's uh, 20 minutes away from you. If you forgot to update that to home point, the drone is gonna start heading back for the point where you started. And if you run out of battery before getting home, probably your drone is gonna make an emergency land and if you are in the middle of the lake, you're gonna lose your drone. So update that setting while you're in movement, if something happens, the drone is gonna land in close by you. Mistake number 4, forget to set the maximum altitude and distance your drone can fly away from you. When you are a beginner, you are learning to fly your drone, I recommend to set those settings as low as possible. Because if you live in limit and you start to fly away and something happens, you're not gonna be able to bring your drone back. So, keep those settings low until you learn to fly your drone. When you feel confident, you can set those settings for a little bit far. For myself, I always keep 200 feet for maximum altitude and maximum just 2000 feet. If something happens, I will be able to walk to my drone and recover. Remember, in the US, we have a restriction for flying no higher than 400 feet above the ground. 
I know it has some exceptions, we're not gonna talk about that in this video, but make sure you do not exceed that limit. Mistake number five, forgot to hit the record button after your takeoff. Yes, I did that mistake by myself one time. And I started flying, I saw a bird is flying around, I was thinking, okay, let's follow the birds and start to thinking I'm capturing those birds flying and a beautiful sunset and then when I return to home I realize I forgot to hit the record button yes I did that make sure to hit that record button unless you don't want to but always when I go out fly, I like to record everything for use here in the YouTube, for make video for you guys or just for fun. Leave me a comment below. I want to see what are the mistakes you guys have made. I know it has a lot of those. We just talk about five, but we can talk about it in another video. If you like that video, please smash that thumbs up. Consider to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.